Hello to a new video and today it's all about loose skin or saggy skin you say. So I have to mention English is not my native language but I try my best <laughs> that you that my audience or you guys understand everything I say. So today we want to talk about um, skin which is a very sensitive topic I think especially for us women. Um, because uh, I always had issues with my skin in the past. I ha um, used to have acne really bad and also I have a lot of like freckles and molds. Um, now I turned, I just turned 30, 41, 31, yeah that would be nice, <laughs> 41 actually. And what I noticed, because I'm traveling already since um, months, what I noticed, um, the sun damage on my skin. It really took a toll on my skin actually. And But in general I have to say for 41, I'm pretty lucky to have quite firm skin. But the thing is, I put some work in. I put the effort in that my skin stays pretty firm and strong. Um, there's this one trick. Um, if you, for example, take your skin here, on your hands, on the back of your hands and you pitch it and then you just let it go and if it doesn't snap back within a few, one second or maybe like that, then maybe your skin um, tends to be more loose, uh, it's not so hydrated. If it takes longer, like even one minute, then uh oh, <laughs> there, is, there needs to be something done and we talk about that today. But in general, you can say if you were pregnant and suddenly your skin got loose or you lost weight pretty quickly, um, maybe also you had a lot of sun damage like I have, yeah or it's just aging. There is something you can do today. You can start today. Healthy routines are very, very important. And also they can really give you some self-esteem or you know that you feel more proud of your body and you have to take some pride in your daily routines, I think. Uh, especially when you get older as a woman and um, I really take some pride in it and I really enjoy my healthy habits and my routines, my beauty routines. And yeah, try to enjoy them and try to start as soon as possible. I'm almost 20 years, I'm into a raw food diet and I'm yeah on a raw food diet more or less. Sometimes I fell off the wagon, but we will talk more about this later in this video. The first thing is, yeah, I know, a lot of people say stay out of the sun and also um, Dr. David Sinclair, he is one of the most famous anti-aging uh, scientists. Uh, he works uh, at the Harvard University. He said, don't release your skin uh, to the sun more than 30 minutes. And we need some sun, it's very vital and important for us, but also um, the downside is that especially if you're more light-skinned like me, you can age of course a lot quicker. So my trick is I'm using a, a umbrella or how you say a parasol. And I know some people will make fun of you <laughs> unless you have uh, Asian heritage or something. <laughs> then people will maybe laugh at you when you're walking around with a um, parasol. But this is one of the best ways to protect your skin um, against the sun and as I said we need some sunshine It's very important but if we are always uh, underneath the sun it really can damage our skin so far that even DNA gets damaged and it's irreversible right so it's very important that we protect our um, skin and also I wear hats white brimmed hats are one of the best ways to protect our uh, skin against the sun um, also what I saw on the Twitter account of David Sinclair he wrote something like hey calorie restriction um, a calorie restricted diet helps you actually um, to have a stronger skin when it comes to UV rays. I thought it was very interesting because your skin doesn't get inflamed so quickly and I thought that was really really interesting because also it supports um, yeah the, the data which I have 
when you eat a lot of crap like um, fried food, processed foods, of course your body is more inflamed and when you get sunburned it gets a lot quicker that your skin is aging then, right? Um, yeah, sunburn is really really bad. So I would suggest um, really try to eat healthy, especially a lot of plants with chlorophyll, carotenoids and yeah, lycopine. This actually protects your uh, skin from the inside and you will notice when you eat a lot of raw foods like I do, your skin doesn't get burned as quickly. So that's what I noticed. When I used to be younger, I um, got sunburned really quickly, like after 20 minutes or half an hour, I already was burned and I was red. And this is always a sign that there's uh, an inflammation going on. So really try to eat healthy and maybe yeah, ban all these processed food, food from, your, from your diet. It's very, very important. I mean, of course, you can have some treats once in a while, but I think it's very important that we nourish our skin from the inside. And also the thing about fasting is that, um, yeah, it reduces inflammation in your body. And this is why we don't probably get sunburned so quickly when we're more fasting or when we have this fasting lifestyle. Number two, get your butt off and go to the gym and build some muscle, even as a woman. I mean, you won't look like a bodybuilder, I promise you, it won't happen. But what happens um, if you have less fat and more muscle? The muscle pushes against the skin and so the skin appears to be firmer and nicer and not so loose. So especially if you want to lose weight, um, it's, it's very important that you combine cardio training with muscle building training. Like go to really like a cheap gym. Just go to really like a plain gym. You don't even need a fancy gym for to build muscle, right? You don't need to be at a certain whatever gym. You just need some weights, you know, like weight training is really, really good. Um, yeah, to really get firmer skin and to look younger from the outside and yeah i started with weight training i'm not so diligent i know i should be uh, should go to the gym more often i just just uh, two times uh, a week i'm but it's still already enough to have some to build some muscle to have some muscle tone and also to have nicer skin yeah. now the third one um, i love to use my tri brush um, it's like a exfoliation and you exfoliate your dead skin cells and this is really good that your skin appears more younger and also you help your skin to yeah to produce new collagen new elastin and yeah this little tiny damage you do to your skin because your skin gets a little red when you try brush your skin it helps to renew the skin right so a lot of uh, cosmetic how you say a lot of estheticians right you say esthetician <laughs> they know about that so um, you have this effect if you for example use a derma roller uh, which I don't like uh, personally um, for, for me personally it's too aggressive but if I use a tri brush it's just right it's a vegan one I think it's with like cactus um, bristles but um, yeah I don't know I bought it in Brazil by the way so and also maybe you can use like salt and oil to to just have a good uh, exfoliation different kind of ways like these cloths you know which you can uh, use underneath the shower but my favorite is really the tri brush so um, I use it almost every day but at least like Twice a week you should use it and it helps also your blood circulation and it helps to get uh, your skin firmer and stronger and nicer and a lot softer really. My skin became so soft just uh, by using the tri brush. And also a little tip, um, if you have like sun damaged skin, if you use the tri brush uh, quite often you can actually have this effect of that uh, sun damage gets better for example when you um, when you focus on your knees or here on your elbows where you can see this very dry skin often if you use the dry brush often then it becomes a lot more nicer your skin now we come to my fourth tip um, like hot and cold showers 
is really, really good to tighten your skin. Um, something happens with your blood vessels, so there's a contraction and also, um, yeah, it can really have a nice effect on your skin. Your blood circulation gets going and yeah, you have like this fresh feeling after a shower. So I'm always totally awake when I have a, a hot and cold shower in the morning. So I use it quite often and I love it. So um, yeah, it's maybe something you should do every day. I know it's tough in the morning, but it's even harder for me, especially in the evening. So I have a hot and cold shower in the morning and yeah, my skin really got firmer by daily hot and cold showers. Now we come to my favorite topic, it's the last one. It's about nutrition and there's one key nutrient what people sometimes oversee or not never it gets mentioned when it comes to collagen and elastine especially collagen and this is silica silica is so important for our bones for our hair for skin etc and um, yeah silica you will find especially in greens like celery cucumber dark leafy greens i Personally, personally prefer um, wild edibles, wild plants like stinging nettle and dandelion. Now here, I'm right now in Mexico, it's hard to find them, um, especially stinging nettle, which is my favorite. But if you live like more in a northern climate, you will find stinging nettle and it, there is so much silica in it. Also, bamboo has a lot of silica. There are supplements, which there's one which I use, but I don't know if you can get it outside from um, Europe. Um, it's with bamboo sprouts and the yacon uh, root and it's really really good. It's also probiotica which helps you to have even more benefit um, from these nutrients. Um, but in general I can really tell you it is just amazing what nutrition can do from the inside and especially Omega-3, you will find it in hemp seeds or in chia seeds, really, really good for your skin. It's actually really good to consume it. Also, what is really good is vitamin C, of course, for your collagen, no question about that. Um, stinging nettle has lots of vitamin C, it's crazy. Also, what is really important for firm skin, for tight skin, is um, is the, our carotenoids. Carotenoids are just wonderful. You will find them in orange and yellow vegetables and fruit. I, for example, I use here and also papayas, also for my skin because I know it helps my skin to regenerate faster. So you can do so much. Just the most important is it has to be unprocessed, it has to be raw. I think raw food is still the best nutrition for our skin. I mean, think about it. If you only eat cooked food um, and where so many like um, antioxidants are also these blend molecules, um, yeah, they get damaged by heat, right? They just disappear. How can you nourish your skin with these kind of um, foods, right? How? I mean, so it's very important to incorporate some raw food in our daily diet and it doesn't need to be 100%, but at least like 50% or 60, as much as you can in the beginning. Yeah, and this was my video about tight skin. I don't know if a firm skin is the right word for it, but tight skin. So, and I hope I see you in my next video and I have to say your, your um, comments they really motivate me to continue here on this channel with my English speaking videos. So because it's not so easy as, as you can imagine, like if I'm with my, if I'm speaking my lang uh, native language, German, but I have to say it will get easier the more videos I produce and I hope I see you in my next video and I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel and yeah, I can inspire more people. I'm yeah. I really would love to do it. Bye. <laughs> and I also want to mention I already have a German speaking channel. Maybe some of you, they speak even German. Um, I will link it um, below this video.